hi guys welcome to another beautiful episode how is everybody doing welcome to our kitchen guys so today today's recipe guys is all about fufu i'm gonna be making authentic Igbo fufu apple ah, guys so in here i have um i have raw freshly made cassava fufu this is the cassava flakes guys how will i put it so this is cassava that is fermented for about two days which after i'm just trying to explain the process how we got to manufacture this fresh fufu so it's cassava that is fermented for two days and then after two days we sieve it out and then filter out throw away the chaff so this is the concentrated filtered one that is so fresh there is no smell of apple here at all i mean because it's fresh if you want to get that freshly apple do not ferment it for more than two days and then you get your required result so guys here now i'm trying to mix it up i'm going to show you how to prepare apple in nibo way not in your rubber type that will fry we have the type they fry but this one i'm gonna be showing you how to cook it and pound it with mortar you have to mix it well and make sure that everything is well smooth no any crumbs all right guys so i will be pre-cooking this one first let's get to the stove because I'm already parboiling my water. So guys, I continue with my hot water. This hot, this water is already hot and boiling. So the first thing first I'm gonna be doing is to you have to put it in sections. So this is the last one i'm just gonna give it a cover and allow it to just pre-cook this is just the first stage guys just stay tuned to this video go nowhere this is the first stage i'm just gonna cook this for about five minutes and then i will pound it and then we go back to the second round guys stay tuned go nowhere wow guys so this is about five minutes later and then the first process is over i'm just gonna take it and um, take it down now to the mortar to start pounding and then i'm gonna put another water for the second and final stage of cooking our apple ibo made guys you can see inside it's not well cooked yet so that's why this is the first stage and this is how it's supposed to look be strange to you guys <laughs> you already know this is Igbo style and it's more better it's preferably this way than frying you will get all the natural taste but frying I mean you just kill that natural taste of fufu when you are swallowing fufu you won't know this is that way anymore when you fry it but this cut one I mean it's everything just gonna see how it will come out. So 
so guys oh, you have seen how far i've pounded um i have to make sure that it's very smooth at this stage because the smoothness in this stage now will determine the how smooth it's gonna come out for the final stage so i have to make sure that there is no long in it that's why i'm taking a whole lot of time to pound it well to make sure that it's well smooth before putting it again on fire so guys the second stage here and our water is boiling already just make sure that your water is boiling in all the stages so i'm just gonna be putting back the fufu the second time as you are cutting the fufu back to the fire you have to be soaking your hand dipping your hands in water so it won't be sticky in your hands So here we go guys, I'm going to stick cover it and cook the proper cooking. So this cooking, we are going to be cooking this for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes max and the fufu is ready, ready, ready and we're going to pound it again. So guys, stay tuned. Oh my god, so guys, it's about 20 minutes and here we go. Whoa, it's ready. So when you feel it this way, whoa, it's so ready. All right, guys, so I will be taking this to the mortar to give it the finish pounding. The finishing pounding. All right, it's so ready and hard, and you can see how it has done. It has become a bit brown. So when you just see it this way, you just have to dip in your hands. You can see everything is done, even up to inside. So, guys, it's time to pound. So guys, in the mortar already, I'm just going to pound it twice because I want it to, to, to get very well mixed and uh, smooth. So I'm just going to be pounding it bit by bit. Then later I will pound the, the, the last one. Let me just pound this one for the first time. So guys, our authentic fufu is ready. Abu in my language is so ready, guys. And it's so yummy. It looks so nice. I mean, this is exactly the way we dish it in the village, guys. No decoration of any kind. This is the way, like, step by step. <laughs> so guys, enjoy. Enjoy with any, any soup of your choice. Abu can actually go with raw soup, with a whisky soup, with benisi soup, with onubu soup. I mean, or her soup. Ne mention any, any kind of soup you want to go with it. It goes down so well. So guys, what do you say? Subscribe to our channel. Support us to grow. Thank you.